We live in a cynical world. You think I'm a murderer? Believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left, and I wouldn't feel a thing. It would be just like walking to the drugstore. The seed grows up from the ground. Everything that starts to grow, grows up. You go down into the earth to plant something. You plant these seeds and this garden grows. It's the same thing in the garden of the mind. I am reality. You had me at hello. I've been in this hotel far too long. I'm losing it. A new assignment. A rogue American soldier. A target. They wouldn't tell me his name. Mission. Terminate with extreme prejudice. We were both white, so I don't really know what prejudice has to do with it. I tried to tell them that, but they just laughed. Bureaucrats. So I'm on a one-man assassination mission, alone in the jungle, the way I like it. Allies only get in the way, make you hesitate. Friendly fire is impossible, if you have no friends. First, I had to find him. Luckily, I knew where he was. To get there, I had to go up a river, and I didn't have a paddle. Last time I was in jungle, I had to babysit this green-as-hell kid that kept sending letters home to Grandma. Looked like he could have been my son. He said, hell is the impossibility of reason. I know what he means. This humidity is hell on my hair. Completely unreasonable. He also said he loved me in Wall Street. I still haven't figured that one out. Stocks aren't my thing. Unless you mean the stock of a warm gun. Happiness. Like the Beatles said. Ow. Why did I do that? I was looking for explosives that the U.S. Army had left in the middle of a jungle maze, for some reason. Damn, a trap. Classic blunder. Never get involved in a land war in Asia. Now that I found the explosives, enemies were coming from everywhere. Behind tree trunks, dropping from tree tops, coming out of the ground, coming out of the water, coming out of my own ass. Endless parade of dead men that haven't figured out they're dead yet. They never learn. The dead know only one thing. It is better to be alive. Where the hell am I? I feel like I'm walking in circles. Seriously, three-fourths of this game is mazes. It's driving me crazy. Back in the world, I had gotten soft, mind and body. I look like a civilian. I spent my time on leave, hanging out with a buddy who wouldn't shut up about shrimp. It was delicious, but I couldn't stop thinking about the jungle. I had watched my buddies die face down in the muck, so people back home could enjoy a nice family restaurant. I hoped that wasn't supposed to be my evac. I hate the tunnels, crawling around like some kind of tunnel rodent thing. At least I had a map. I've lost count of how many people I've put down. 
So much for the man in black pajamas being a worthy adversary. Then, I started hearing the broadcasts from the Colonel. Earth has four corner simultaneous four day time cube. In only 24 hour rotation, four corner days, cubes, four quad Earth. Also, it is flat. A flat cube surrounded by the Antarctic ice wall. Scooter my daisy heads. That hypnotic voice, raw sexual charisma, almost made me forget that what he was shilling was pure nonsense. This war, it's just a game. Four different styles of game, in fact. None of them good. One day, children will relive our experiences for fun. Children experiencing war is nothing new. But fun? How could this hell possibly be fun? What kind of sick mind could enjoy mowing down relentless waves of enemies in a pointless repetitive series of mazes? Seriously, three-fourths of the game. Up and into the light. Back at the river again, I blow the bridge. I have no idea why. Because you are an errand boy, sent by grocery clerks to collect a bill. found his camp in the middle of the night. Perfect. I'm at home in the dark. They were celebrating something. Was it the fourth? I don't even know anymore. Time means little alone in the jungle. It was surreal in a way only war can prepare you for. So lit up and so dark at the same time. Really though, you would think U.S. soldiers would have access to something with a little more kick than snakes and sparklers. Oh well, time to get to work. Finally. Thanks for leaving the supply shed unlocked. Tranced out morons following this guy like a god. I set up an ambush, let the grunts come to me, mow them down like grass. No, easier than mowing grass. Damn fireworks still going off, lighting up the killing field. Morons. I understand that I must be shocking to you. I have seen the devil in my microscope, and I have chained him. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Stella! I'm going to make Charlie an offer he can't refuse. And then I had to fight my way to his personal bunker, lit up like a football stadium. In the end, all I had left were the grenades from the supply shed. They were enough. I didn't even speak to the man. Didn't ask if he knew who I was or why I was there. Judging from the broadcast, he didn't have a handle on much of anything anymore. I was once more alone in the dark. No, not the game. Smell of burnt flesh and hot blood. It was over. Not just the mission, my career doing the Pentagon's dirty work. This didn't feel clean and just anymore. It hadn't for a very long time. I was through, and I slept for the first time in days. Next morning, I feel myself losing my grip on reality. 
to hang your existence on one horrible goal and finally achieve it. For what? Who am I? Why did I do this? Because I was ordered? Because it was right? No, because he was a mad dog that needed to be put down. That's all. Just necessary. No glory, no honor. Just necessity. The water looks clean enough to drink, but it's like Dave Matthews said. Don't drink the water. There's blood in the water. Somewhere in the chaos, I lost my bandana. Not that it matters. I just didn't want you to think it was a continuity error. <laughs> I made it to an American camp and boarded a small barge to take me down river to a flight home. Another purple heart to throw on the stack. I didn't even feel the bullet this time, but this million dollar wound is sending me home for now. No, not home. America. No longer home. I belong in Vietnam. I lost my humanity in that jungle. I almost hope I never find it. I went into Korea a boy and came out a man. I went into Vietnam a man and came out a monster. I'm stronger like this. Maybe strong enough to make a difference. Maybe now I can get the attention of some game developer and convince him to make a good game about a war movie. Or maybe bend the ear of a sympathetic politician and get licensed games banned altogether so no more boys have to die in the jungle for nothing. Maybe, maybe, maybe my struggle can actually mean something. Or maybe I'm just kidding myself. You have no right to judge this game. Destroy it, yes. Expose it to extreme temperatures. Submerge it in water. Soak it in benzene. Destroy it, yes. But don't judge. I've seen horror. Lame Commodore 64 games ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System. Sluggish controls being made to repeat the same tedious mazes over and over before you get to the small part of the game you actually need practice on. I remember the 1980s. Seems like 30 years ago. I remember thinking a game based on a movie might be worthwhile. The first casualty of licensed games is innocence. Out of ideas? Just throw in another maze. Seriously, three-fourths of this game is mazes. My God, the will to release a piece of crap like this. These were not monsters, they were men. Trained programmers. If I had ten development teams like this, the gaming industry would be over very quickly. Think of it. Not only licensed games, but ports of licensed games. The horror. The horror. Thumb 45 degrees down. This is the way the video ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. Wait a minute. That wasn't Platoon. That was Apocalypse Now. Damn, all this effort and I spoofed the wrong movie. One level is a maze, and the other is a maze. And the one that Mother programmed is also a maze. God damn it. What the hell were they thinking?